Hey everyone, Austin here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the extra points pre week seven NFL power rankings. So at the bottom of my rankings here, you'll see I've got the Lions now at the bottom, you know, still the only undefeated team Jaguars getting a decent win over the Miami Dolphins who going into the year, we all thought was going to be a good team, but it's been pretty disappointing so far. Uh, obviously the Jets have been disappointing. Um, Texans, Giants, Washington, what can we say about them? They've all gotten their butts kicked a lot more than they've, you know, even come close to wins. Uh, currently, Detroit is 0-6 for the first time since 2008. The last year that they went 0-16, one of only two teams to ever go winless across an entire 16-game season. The easiest remaining games that they have, you can see they're at home against the Eagles and Bears and away at the Falcons. And currently, Vegas has their over-under at total wins uh, at 2.5 which the under right now might seem like a safe bet. Here, uh, you got my 21 through 26 or 26 through 21, just depending on how you look at it. Uh, the Bears at the top of that, the Raiders, who I guess my, I might have been too hard on their uh, precipitous fall because uh, they just uh, showed up the Broncos, who I had a little bit too high. Um, I think this is the adequate rankings. You know, if, if every team played every team, uh, you know, once – this week, if you could simulate that, this is how I think that would stack out. Um, Dolphins, a little bit disappointing on defense uh, lately. Just haven't had quite the same spark that, you know, you think Brian Flores would provide the team. Uh, Eagles still remain inconsistent. I don't know whether they're a defensive team or an offensive team or not. Uh, Broncos, uh, through their first three games, you know, they've had, they had an elite defense. Now, part of that is playing the Texans, Jaguars, and Jets. Um, but over the last three games, they've been giving up 28 points per game, which is far too many. Uh, here, you know, I've still got the Seahawks relatively high, haven't changed their rankings. I believe in that team. I think the level of support um, or lack thereof is kind of overstated uh, in terms of, you know, it not being a good franchise. They've got two uh, bona fide stars at wide receiver. They've got a very deep uh, running back group. And they've got two of the best defenders in the NFL, two top 20 defenders in the NFL, in Jamal Adams and in uh, Bobby Wagner. So, you know, it's, I think it's a little overrated. Uh, about the Patriots, fun fact, uh, the Patriots two and four. So that's, uh, you know, relatively a bad record. But their total point margin on the, uh, on the season is minus two. Uh, which is by far the best of any team with a losing record, even uh, any team that has a 500 record. Uh, here, uh, you see I've got the Titans bumped up a little bit. Panthers bumped significantly down. Panthers still have a very good defense and a very good team. Uh, the Saints, I moved them up despite the bye. Um, I just think that every every week that they get closer to Michael Thomas coming back, the better that they get, the longer that they can you know, stay somewhat close to 500. Uh, the better they're going to be. Colts shellacked the Texans. I didn't think they were going to be able to. Uh, it seemed like their defense has finally come alive over the last couple of games. Uh, they were able to hold Lamar off for three and a half quarters, and they were able to just completely uh, destroy the Texans. So hopefully their offensive line, you know, their offensive pieces start to get healthy, and then we can see the team that we expected coming into the year. Uh, Titans with the Really nice upset over the Buffalo Bills just last night. Derrick Henry with another monster game, 139 yards and three touchdowns, I think. We, we really are watching a first ballot Hall of Famer uh, currently in his career. Right now, he's Derrick Henry is on pace to beat uh, Terrell Davis's three-season rushing total uh, by about 400 yards. So Terrell Davis set the record for three seasons worth of rushing yards at about, I think it was 5,200 yards and maybe 5,400. And Derrick Henry right now is on pace for like 57 or 58, something like that. Uh, in the Panthers' first three games, you can see there they, out there, they outscored their opponents by 39 total points, um, which, I mean, that's pretty great. That's like, you know, 13, 12, kind of. Uh, points per game, but in their last th in their last three games, 0 and 3, obviously, uh, they're minus 17, which is not great. But it's only an average of about 5. Point, you know, two points per game. So even though they've been losing, they haven't been losing by a lot. Here, 
uh, we've got the just outside the top five, obviously, 10 through six. Uh, Chiefs are finally back into it. You know, I didn't ever think that the Chiefs were going to stay bad. But in the first half of that Washington game, it definitely looked like Washington might have a chance. Chargers are bumped down, not because they took the L, but because they looked unprepared to face the they look they look prepared to un, uh, to face the Ravens and that that's not okay. You can take losses to Lamar Jackson on the road, which a lot of people have done. That Lamar Jackson over the weekend became the winningest quarterback in NFL history before their 25th birthday, uh, passing Dan Marino and Drew Bledsoe, which is pretty great because Lamar Jackson's 25th birthday doesn't come until January in the playoffs, meaning that he has a chance to really push that record far out there. Uh, Cincinnati, uh, four and two this year, kind of a surprise. I expected them to be about a seven win team. Uh, but currently they're scoring 24 points, 24.7 points per game. And their only two losses have come while scoring under 24 points. Uh, and here we've got the cream of the crop, the top five. I actually predicted that Tennessee was going to win this game. And so I had this slide set up before Buffalo even won the game. Now, if Buffalo had come into this game, and just absolutely mollywhopped the Titans. I might have considered them replacing the Ravens at number one. However, the Ravens, or the, the Cardinals at number one, rather. But however, the Cardinals actually beat up on the Browns. Um, the Ravens beat up on the Chargers so bad, I almost put them at number one. But uh, out of respect to their 6-0 and record and, their, uh, and the Ravens win over a quality team, I had to leave them up top there. Uh, Packers and Rams, they stay where they're at. I think if, you know, these teams all played each other 10 times right now, this is how the average record would come out. Cardinals on top, then Ravens, Packers, Rams, Bills. Uh, that is right now, however. Uh, for the season total, Buffalo is actually number one in scoring defense and number two in scoring offense. They would have been number one if they would have been able to score, uh, I think, like six more points yesterday, which, you know, I mean, six points, it's a full touchdown. But that gives them a 17 and a half point differential uh, in terms of per game, which is a lot in the NFL, which is the highest by 3.3 points, which is a lot. Second is Arizona undefeated, while the Bills are four and two.